That's when three years later, they're still building. There's not any room left over there on that island. <laughs> now, our ports here in Savannah and Garden City are large. Are, we are the fourth largest port because of our the size of our river, the density. We can handle 98 percent of the ships of the world that comes inside our port. There's only there's New York is bigger than we are, two in California that are bigger than we are. Our Garden City port, port, just a little bit further north from the Savannah port is the largest single container port in the United States. If you were to have a chance to see some of those humongous barges that come in, it's, it's amazing. They're the size of Hutchinson Island, actually. Okay, on our right here, all these buildings here used to be cotton warehouses back in the day. These big January's things that we sell supplies to the pirates and the sailors of the sea. We're coming up to stop number 12. This is the Wavy Girl statue and the pirate house is right up north on the, it's right up the hill on the bay of the river. Anybody wanting to go to stop number 12? Uh, Nobody to stop number 12? I'm going to stop because stop 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 behind me. No. 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 Okay. Now, oh, over to our left yeah. is the Wavy Girl statue. It is, that's a statue of Florence Smartest. She is, <laughs> she was 15 years old. She went out to Ella Albany to visit her brother, who was a very nice speaker out there. She was a very nice speaker out there. She was a very nice speaker out there. And she was a very nice speaker out there. But while she was out there, and she was a very nice speaker she, whenever a ship would come into our shores or leave the river, she would wave to them. During the day, she had a cloth on her apron. That's why she told them that they called in her hands and she waved hello and goodbye. The, there's a quote there for that. This is the Colonial District. 
we had the historic district, the Victoria district, and now we are in the colonial district. In order, we are, a lot of our buildings are historic landmark districts, so that, and we are state landmark districts, but a lot of our city is part of the national landmark. They're national landmarks, so they have to be historic and placed back to where they were. See the color on that building there? That is a paint blue. Paint is a Gullicochic word. Their people called it paint. It was a word for spirits. They believed that evil spirits could not cross the ocean. And so they painted their homes to, and tops of their porches paint blue to protect them from the evil spirits. <laughs> it's a maritime city. We have a lot of superstition. Notice this home here on our right. Wood siding, black shutters, the columns, the bricks at the bottom. That home was built, completed in 1809, 1809, very first part of the 1800s. This building up here looks exactly like it. Same color home, same style with the wood, you have the yield. <laughs> I have, and the shutters and the blocks, it looks exactly like that building on the other side of the square. It was built in 1997. 150 years ago, exactly alike. We have in our city, because we are part of, a lot of our city is part of the national landmarks, and we have all the historic districts, we have a historic review board. Anytime that you build new or make changes to, it has to be approved by